Okay, this is the big boy all set up. Let's zoom in. See the big boy is right there. There's no power on it. It's got two cells. It's got one there and one there. And so it has a the has a negative on each end, has a positive where it joins in the middle. I have a 50 amp, amp meter, 50 amp shunt. The dry bubbler comes from the top because it'll it gets when you run it around 20 amps, it starts moving, it starts evaporating stuff, but the water will drop off here. Then it goes from there into your air cleaner. I'll put a connector on the end. And that is our electrolyte. That's our constant current pulse width modulator. They're about 250 bucks now. That's one of my Carol Mason's older ones before he retired. And then over here I have a 30 amp relay. The wire over here that has the fuse on goes to the battery. That one right there is a signal, turns it on and off. Something goes on and off with the start switch. The bigger wire here comes to the center. The little red wire goes over here, supplies 12 volts to the electric circuit board, electronic circuit board in, in, inside the pulse with modulator. And that is it. I had this one running 20 amps and it was putting out 750 milliliters per minute, which is enough to run about an eight liter engine. Um, we put these on semis. I had about 17 semis with the same, this thing on it, running around 16 to 20 amps. And it, they were, one of them claimed he saved, he saved $35,000 a year. He was getting about 20, 25% savings. Okay. And there's another one that I also posted that showed it running with a two inch flame. I, I had a, an orifice there and lit it off. Do not do that because mine's special so it won't, won't flash backwards. If you do it with one of yours, it'll flash backwards, blow the thing up. Have a great day.